we've mentioned this book that somebody wrote about key personal influence. There will be <laughs> there will be there will be a link in the show notes um, to that. There's actually a webinar next week which I'm signed up to, so I'll put a link to that one in there as oh, well. Cool. Um, before we carry on, I want to talk to everybody about the Leeds Business Podcast Fair Deal. The Leeds Business Podcast Fair Deal has two sides to it. My side of it is every week, free of charge, I bring you inspirational, motivational, fascinating uh, guests totally for free. Your side, Mr. and Mrs. Listener and Viewer, has two parts to it. Part number one, recommend this podcast to one other person you feel will get a benefit from it. And part number two, give this episode a thumbs up or a positive review. That's it. That's a Leeds Business Podcast fair deal. Daniel, sound like a fair deal? Sounds like a great deal. How did you come up with that? Um, I stole it from, it was partly from a training course and partly from somebody else's podcast. It's a good deal. There you it's go. It's a very good deal. It's a very good deal. You can borrow it if you want. You can borrow it if you want. So we've gone up, we've, we've done the, the the KPI method, the key, per, key person of influence. And it's interesting actually, because in my, in my previous life before I did this I ran a business scaled it and grew it and exited and I've realized I did the, I did all of those things I didn't realize obviously I didn't realize I was doing them but I can see now how they all contributed to, to what we did and it's just you know as I was reading through and I was you know when I was reading this it's it, it all I can say it works you know you're not the first person to say that I've had yeah I've had many people who when they look at the methodology they go oh that's actually how we did it. Yeah. Um, you know, even Stephen Bartlett, you know, he came, came came and said, hey, all of these steps, I've done all of these steps. I didn't know I was necessarily doing them, but, um, uh, you know, I've, I've, I've hit all of these uh, all of these steps. Now, we've, we've mentioned the book and you have a very interesting view of, I know obviously some of your books are paid for, but you have a very interesting view of, of giving books away as well as a gift. Tell us why you do that and yeah. why, why people should do that. Well, I think that my time is too valuable to be spending time selling a £10 book. Um, but what I would rather do is just give the book away. And the book's job is to sell what we do, right? So the book's job is to go be my ambassador, to be my salesperson. Here's the funny thing, Phil. Have you have, How many salespeople have you hired in your career? Uh not an enormous amount. Are we talking dozens? Yeah, single yeah, figures. But... Probably single figures. Single figures. Okay. So so I've had a lot of salespeople on my teams over the years. And, you know, look, a good salesperson comes in at like 50,000, 60,000 a year typically. Um, I've always had this cheeky thought of like I could give away 10,000 books for that and I'd probably get the same result. <laughs> <laughs> right? um, so... I've always thought the, the book is just a great salesperson. It's it's you know if you take a let's say less of a let's say a less of a salesperson, more of a business development manager. You know a BDM is going to cost fifty grand. Um, you know if I print up ten thousand copies of a book, that's that's going to be about uh, fifty grand or or, or less. Um, so I've always just had this thought of like you know what I can circumvent the whole process, just give away a thousand books a month. Um, and uh, and I get pretty much the same BDM uh, experience or result, uh, you know. So I just think of the book as my business development manager. Right, and books books don't want holidays. They don't have time off sick. They don't they don't fall out with other books. <laughs> no one poaches your books. <laughs> no one gets your book to go and work at their company. Yeah, yeah. absolutely. Books don't yeah. books don't take your ideas and then and then run off and start yeah, their own competitive business. Books don't want ten percent of the business when you start. <laughs> yeah, but but the so so the book. Go on, sorry, go on. Well, the book is all your best thinking. It's your intellectual property. It's your case studies, testimonials. All of that's in one place. You know, the book is there to be that central place where all the ideas and the insights and the case studies, they're all in one place. Um, it's an amazing culture document. It, it, it reinforces culture with your team. Um, you know, one of the things that we do with all the new employees is that in week one, you know, we ask them to read the book. You know, we pay for them on company time, read the book as one of the things that you need to do. That creates a, an alignment straight away. People completely understand the business and the background and all the key ideas. Uh, so it's great for culture. Um, it's great for um, building relationships. If you sign up a client, you give them a book. If you haven't signed up a client but you want to, you give them a book. 
you want to do a joint venture or a partnership, you give them a book, 